Looking up, Jacob saw Esau coming, accompanied by 400 men. He divided the children among Leah, Rachel, and the two maids, putting the maids and their children first, Leah and her children next, and Rachel and Joseph last. He himself went on ahead and bowed low to the ground seven times until he was near his brother. Esau ran to greet him. He embraced him, and falling on his neck, he kissed him, and they wept. Looking about, he saw the women and children. Who, he asked, are these with you? He answered, the children with whom God has favored your servant. Then the maids with their children came forward and bowed low. Next, Leah and her children came forward and bowed low. And last, Joseph and Rachel came forward and bowed low. He asked, what do you mean by all this company which I have met? He answered, To gain my Lord's favor. Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Let what you have remain yours. But Jacob said, No, I pray you, if you do me this favor, accept from me this gift, for to see your face is like seeing the face of God. You have received me favorably. Please accept my present, which has been brought to you, For God favored me, and I have plenty. And when he urged him, he accepted. And Esau said, Let us start on our journey, and I'll proceed at your pace. But he said to him, My Lord knows that the children are frail, that the flocks and herds which are nursing are a care to me. If they're driven hard a single day, all the flocks will die. Let my Lord go on ahead of his servant while I travel slowly at the pace of the cattle before me and at the pace of the children, until I come to my Lord and say, Here. Then Esau said, Let me assign to you some of the men who are with me. But he said, Oh no, my Lord is too kind to me. So Esau started back that day on his way to Seir. But Jacob journeyed on to Succoth to build a house for himself and made stalls for his cattle. That is why the place was called Sukkoth. Jacob arrived safe in the city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, having come thus from Padan Aram, and he encamped before the city. The parcel of land where he pitched his tent he purchased from the children of Hamor, Shechem's father, for a hundred kezitas. He set up an altar there and called it El Elohe Yisrael.